So, today I realized that my girl group boy, they'll never be together again. And that it was time to move on. So, I got two options. I can get on my knees and beg them, or I can move on. Start over. Do it bigger and better. auditions I picked seven girls out of a hundred and these seven girls they're beautiful they're talented and the only thing I can't really judge through an audition is their grind so to test their grind I put them through a 12-week boot camp that consists of very rigorous everything vocal training dance choreography fitness training the whole nine yards then we're going to do a big showcase and we're going to pick the four girls that are going to go ahead and make history while you're going to go ahead and watch the whole thing. years ago like I said I was in a very abusive relationship when I actually broke away from that situation I had this little baby about seven months we went to a shelter we stayed for two months I bumped into some girls from high school and they introduced me to it and when I found out that I can make money at hand every day you know I just kind of rolled with it but this is the way that you feed your kids so it's really stressful so I'm trying to get out of that right now got a letter in the mail it's a mess so it turns out that um, <clears throat> she's been in jail this whole time. She really was in jail. I mean, it's people that's not a strong singer in here. So why would you think I would drop out just because of that? You gotta be able to dance and sing. She get discombobulated. No, because you being extra as hell today, though. That's my thing. You can't be here twice. God, you can't be here dry as hell. Like, I ain't talking to nobody. Hey, man. It's not trying to be no kind of business going on here. We trying to be cordial as hell together. We got to fucking work every day together. So you can make that move. You got an attitude, dog. That's not cool. I got work to do. Like, we don't have nine, nine rehearsals. Like, it's something that I have to do. You mad about me trying to be focused? Hey, what's up? My name is Brittany Gilbert. 
I was raised on the west side of Detroit. Um, just looking at me, a lot of people don't know that I'm legally blind. And what I mean by that is if I take my contacts out, I cannot see you. So at nighttime, if you see me on the road, you might want to move out the way because I just might hit you. Um, my brother is my biggest inspiration. Um, he was on the Real World, MTV Real World season 20, Hollywood. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's really, really good. It's do the dread. I work at State Farm right now, but that's not me. That's not who I am. I'm born to sing. I'm born to dance. <laughs> A strict policy here at Star Factory that is no fraternizing with, you know, teacher, student, client, instructor. It's just unprofessional. If my chances of being in this group is ruined by that, then you need to tell me now so I can leave. Your chances are not ruined, but I do look at you differently. From a business standpoint, it just makes me like not trust your level of focus. My bad. Think with the wrong brain. Hi everybody, my name is Rihanna Delgado, I'm from Southfield, Michigan. Of the six months ago, sitting on the campus of Bowling Green State University, I thought that my future was as a journalist. It would be something to do with music or fashion, but I never fathomed that I would have the opportunity to stand here and, and be the star rather than being the one to write about the star. I gave up four years of college to do this because this is my passion. This is what I want to do. I'm going to give it my all. Your chances have just drastically in increased for making this group because Rihanna has quit. Rihanna dropped out today through text message. What a part of nature has to be to be like the ocean, the ocean, birds in the sky, things are the explanation. No questions why. Love, love, you and me. Hi, message with Rihanna. Hey, Rihanna, this is Candace. What's up, girl? I just wanted to let you know that I just really, I really wanted you to be in this group. Because I was like, man, I miss Rihanna because, you know, you bring the energy to the group. No, I did not like Rihanna. She was annoying. I, I couldn't stand her. She was always hyper and hyper. And she would, I'd be like, come on, girls, come on, let's get it together. It's like, shut up. I can do this on my own. I don't need you to motivate me. I'm not in a motivation mood right now. I've been modeling for about five years. It takes me a long time to figure out what it is that I need to do in life. For instance, I'll date a guy for two years and should have dumped him three months after I met him. So by me taking this much time to figure out that I wanted to be a singer and a performing artist, I really want to do it and it's something that it's my life. Um, I'm starting to get a little worried about Kojima. Something really is not right. And I happened to look at Koji's face and I noticed that she had, it was like blood on her cheek. I'm upset because I've been having stomach pains for about three weeks now and I have an eating disorder. I've battled anorexia and bulimia for three years and I'm trying to get healthier now for the group but it's like a battle. Like people don't understand that having an eating disorder is not a joke. singer as well as a songwriter and when I was younger I really felt as though that I could not relate to a lot of people. My least favorite I would have to say would be Ashley. I don't see her fitting with anybody that I've said before. Like 
My least favorite girl would have to be Ashley, just because I don't really relate to her, and sometimes it, it, it just seems like she comes off kind of um, rehearsed. Well, it's many a times where I do feel like I'm superwoman or that super bitch. <laughs> surround myself with females because most of them have their own opinion on stuff and I know how I am. I've been singing since I was about 10 or 11 and I just finally got into it instead of being scared to let people hear my voice I just let it all out and let it go. I'm not really gonna be in this group and I will make my way to the top. Ain't no selling. You gotta stop it. I just stopped. There ain't no second chance in Hollywood. Either you kill, go hard, or you go home, eh? The question is, too, like, how you gonna know, transition from being a, a dancer, the dancer, to the, to the singer? I haven't figured that out yet. Because this is your job. Don't come to work with your personal problems. Discuss that outside. When I come into a club, and I can't tell who the artist is from the audience, that's not good. That's what's called a superstar. I don't know who's gonna make this group. So, this performance on Wednesday, it's a lot riding on it. We got one spot left. This is what we was outside arguing about. I've lost my voice. It's gonna break everybody's heart on the stage. But we went with our gut. And the fourth member of the group should be named Lois Lane. Is it? <laughs>